not know who I am, my name is Emma Houston. I am so honored to speak to all of you tonight and give a reflection of the past 13 years of my life that God has given me at the school. I never thought this day would come. I pray for its quick delivery across days off my calendar, counted hours, minutes, and seconds, and now that it's here, I'm sorry because it means leaving friends who have inspired me and teachers that have met, been my mentors and have helped shape me into the person I am today. Over the past 13 years, I have seen many changes. Whether it be from our school shutting down because of COVID to watching classmates come and go and seeing our school grow in the number of students, through it all, I tried to make the best of it. I've made so many wonderful memories over the years that I'm not able to pick just one to be my favorite. For those of you who don't know, volleyball is my sport. Because of volleyball, it has given me my all-time favorite high school memory, which is winning first place in both our JV and varsity volleyball tournament. Because of volleyball, I have established many relationships with many lovely people. Over the years, I have been given so many opportunities to be a light in the school, and I hope that I've achieved it. Whether it be trying basketball for a year where our team won literally every game, even though me and Grace cried to Pastor Anthony to not be put in, and through all, all of that, I've established basketball is most definitely not my sport. <laughs> or whether it be in gym class, fighting for my life in scatterball for Ethan and Joey not to get me out. <laughs> This year, I was able to help in the elementary classrooms and gym, which was such an amazing opportunity and very challenging. It made me question many times, do I really want to be a teacher? But through those opportunities, it has made me realize how much of an impact I can have. One of the most important things to me that one of my teachers has said is, how you want your, your year to be is how you act and how you decide to make it be. That has really stuck with me and is very much true. With that being said, I'd like to encourage my underclassmen to be an encouragement to those around you, be a light, and strive to make good memories and be the best versions of yourselves. Even when times get hard, which they will, come alongside one another and learn to build each other up. Strive to do your best to make each year better than the one before. Look at every moment, capture it, and remember it. Though my senior year didn't go quite as I expected it to be, my teachers, Pastor Luana and Pastor Weibel, have strived their best to make this year memorable for me. Thank you for going above and beyond to find even the smallest ways to encourage me this year. Pastor Luana and Pastor Weibel, thank you for the wonderful 13 years I have had at the school. You have been doing an amazing job, and I am so excited to see what God has in store for OCCA as it continues to grow. Thank you for your love and dedication to your students. To my teachers, we've come a long way, and I thank you all for the work you've poured into me. Because of you, I get to stand up, in, up here in front of you all this evening. I hope you continue to pour into your students as you have with me. To my first, first coach, Mrs. Danka, thank you for seeing something in me that I didn't see and pushing me, literally, to play on your team. Thank you for being an encouragement, not just as my coach all these years. You're the reason I survived fifth and sixth grade. To Ms. Sam and Ms. Maya, thank you for taking my abilities and pushing me to play beyond what I thought I could. Playing volleyball has given me some of my most cherished <laughs> memories. You've taught me the importance of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. To my family and close friends, thank you for always supporting me and helping me strengthen my walk with the Lord. No matter the circumstance, you are always there for any event. I'm thankful that God has placed you all in my life and has given me such loving family and friends. To my brothers, I will miss our morning drives to school, our random wall runs, and hearing you cheer me on from the stands at my volleyball games. Though sometimes we don't get along, I'm going to miss our silly arguments when I go to college, and yes, even your hugs. I'm so proud of both of you and can't wait to see what God has planned for your futures. And to my best friend, thank you for being so supportive of me this year. You've given me a second family that has shown me endless amounts of love, and I'm so thankful for you. To my dad, thank you for showing me what a true man is for showing me love, support, and always butting heads with me. You never fail to put a smile on my face and others. I aspire to be as funny as you one day. <laughs> to my ultimate inspiration, my mom. You have always pushed me to be the best version of myself, and no matter how many times I thought I believed I was going to fail, you always believed in me and knew I could do it. As you have guided me through these incredible 17 years, I don't think you ever realized that the person I most wanted to be is you. Lastly, I would overall like to thank God. Without him, I would not be standing here today in front of you all. I am thankful that God brought me to the school and has surrounded me with people who have not only strengthened my walk with Christ, but have shown me how to be a Christian. 
I am so excited that God has called me to be a Christian school teacher, where I am able to show children the love of Christ. As I leave this chapter behind me and embark on my new journey, I will not forget the struggles and challenges that I have faced along the way. They have shaped me and made me stronger. I have learned the value of hard work, determination, and perseverance, and will carry those lessons with me wherever I go. I will always remember all that Ocean County Christian Academy has taught me and strive to be the examples my teachers here have been to me to my future students. Thank you for this unforgettable journey. Thank you for listening and coming out this evening.